we spoke about Russell Poole, the human being, uh, the real life detective cop who was committed to the truth. Let's talk about the gentleman who played his character, Johnny Depp. I know you mentioned that you wanted to bring Johnny Depp in. I mean, he takes the movie mainstream. You know, it goes from telling the story of a black rapper who was slain to now you got to pay attention to this thing. We have Johnny Depp on one hand, Forrest Whitaker on the other hand. I know Brad wanted Johnny involved, but how the hell do you get Johnny to want to be involved in why Johnny? Because Johnny is always doing these offbeat type movies. It's very rare that you see him playing movies, you know, like a Donnie Brasco. You know he has the chops. You know he has the acting skills, the credentials. But we're so used to seeing him in Pirates of the Caribbean and so many movies where he's in character, um, wearing prosthetics, all of these different things. So why him? And then how'd you even get him to agree? Uh, well, there's always a bit of luck involved, I would say, and 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 sometimes when you when you when you hit hit it like that. As an actor, I've always been fascinated with Johnny. Uh, absolutely fascinating. I felt in my gut. I always try to look at these things as a fan. I'm still that kid back from Philadelphia. I, I didn't change just because my profession became making movies. My love, and you brought it up for him and Donnie Brasco. Um, I, I really do love him and all the things that he's done in prosthetics, but that is not my favorite Johnny Depp work. That's not like, if you talk to me about Johnny Depp, I'm going to tell you about Blow, or I'm going to tell you about, you know, Donny Brasco, um, or What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Those are the movies for me that are defining of him for me. So as a fan, I want to see Johnny Depp like that. So right. that's number one, why I'm going to Johnny for this role. Number two, I know that Russell Poole was, as I said, he dotted every I, he crossed every T, and he was like this, like a straight arrow. I, I was concerned also, like, if I get somebody who is not as captivating or maybe as eccentric and unique and fascinating as Johnny, it might feel a little boring. So from a creative standpoint, Johnny's take on a detective is always going to be like a little off center in a way, a little more interesting. The creative choices are going to be a little different. So creatively he fit. And then there was obviously like the 10,000 pound gorilla scenario. I'm like, this guy is not just a movie star. He is an icon of like rock star proportions. That's what Johnny has become in that regard. So I was like, that's the Trojan horse. That's the vessel you need to carry this messaging to the world. And, and, and you know what? Johnny's first love, like mine, happens to not be movies. It's music. Yeah, he's, a, he's part of a rock group, correct? He is, yeah, Hollywood Vampires. Okay, and, so, so before you go further, he, does he know... Or did he know? Did he have any intimate connection with Biggie's music? Loved it. Absolutely. It was a fan, was a crazy Biggie fan, and and never met him, wished he had, but um, you know, loved, loved, loved Biggie. So, like that was all par and parcel to when I say luck. His first love is music. He loved Biggie. Like, I got lucky. <laughs> in that regard, you know what I mean? And that's some luck that this story needed, you know? Wow, wow. Okay, let's talk Forrest. Another main character in the film. How do you get him? Well, so again, fortuitously, Johnny and Forrest were in Platoon together. Yep. And they had worked, you know, and it was like a brief moment back in time. And because of the significance of big and black culture, um, I, I would say, and, and it was a very proud moment for me, but a very challenging moment. Some of my favorite, favorite, favorite black actors had reached out to me wanting to be in this movie. And I had to explain to them that it wasn't going to work out. And, and I, I won't name who any of them are, but there are some movies that are so defining for me. So I have like a checklist in my mind, like I got to get back to that cat. Like, yo, you know, I have to make those things right for me. But like, um, 
there's only a certain amount of roles. And my theory on how to make the movie was I wanted the two big heavyweights. And then I wanted the rest of the roles to be either like actors you weren't familiar with or like a guy like Glenn Plummer that's been slipping in and out of movies forever and he's just a brilliant beast of an actor uh, or Lawrence Mason and they're just always making it work. But with Forrest, we had the connection. We had been looking at every actor under the sun. We had a lot of interest from a lot. But when Forrest stepped forward, first off, I mean, guy is such a tremendous talent. Him and Johnny wanted to work together again. He's a titan of an actor. Um, what he's achieved is, is tremendous. So, you know, short of like Denzel Washington, you know, it's like, I don't think we were getting any luckier in the regard of Forrest Whitaker um, from that perspective. And, um, you know, I also, you know, you pay attention to these things. Uh, you know, people, when I, you know, I, I was looking at one or two other actors, one in particular, one that I think would have been dynamite. Can and it pains me to, what? Can we name them? Yeah, but <laughs> if you don't want to, no worries. No, it's not that. It's just it breaks my heart because he put his he put his heart on the line for me, and Johnny was down for it. But then when Forrest stepped in, it was the only moment in time on the movie where the tidal wave of 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 the the you know the the grandness of Forrest Whitaker hit, and as a result, um, you know that guy got got washed away would be a nice way to put it and uh it, it pains me because i'm i'm a real fan and he was very humble in how how he approached me and all the time we spent um and it's not it's not that i don't want to share the story it's i just want to be respectful of him and i've got to find a way to make that right but my point moreover um was forrest was the right fit creatively he was the right fit um from the prominence he had. And he was another heavyweight to get in the ring with Johnny. Um, I mean, when you say Whitaker and Depp, it's like, boom. It, it, it sounds, and this is way off the beaten trail, but it sounds as a director, you, you're a fan of Oliver Stone. Um, I'm, I'm noticing a couple of movies that we're referencing that, that happened. Oh, I didn't even think of Platoon being his movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, big, um, big movies. Um, Platoon, it, 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 that, that used to be one of my favorite movies of all time. You take me back to the kid. Um, yeah, Oliver is, uh, I haven't found myself going back, oddly, to Oliver's movies as much. But you are right, from Born on the Fourth of July to Platoon to Wall Street. Um, uh, he made, uh, oh, that, that one of his first films is a beautiful film um, with James Woods in it. Uh, I can't, believe, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll get it. But uh, yeah, no, he's a he's a wonderful political in your face filmmaker. Um, and uh, you know, like when Natural Born Killers came out, that was an event. Oh you my know? god! I mean, it it was it was really an event. But um, now Spike Lee is always just top of the food chain for me. I, I'm I'm a I'm a I love Spike man. Changed my yeah, life. You can you can see you 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 mentioned do the right thing, and um, this mm -hmm. this movie it 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 shares the gravity um, and the integrity as a lot of Spike Lee's films, but in particular, Do the Right Thing. For, you know, that was a game-changing movie because it was, you know, as a Black young man, I watched my life. I watched all of the little idiosyncrasies that, that we deal with, um, the way I personally saw the world. Mm -hmm. Spike was able to capture it mm -hmm. so, profoundly on screen. So I could I could see where he would be one of your uh, influences in, in someone who you would say, I love what he's doing and I want to take it to the next level. Yeah, I, you know, um, I think Do the Right Thing for Spike is so personal. Uh, this, is, this is a very personal movie for me because of my connection to it, but it isn't per se my story in that regard. So I don't know, as a filmmaker, I've yet to make my do the right thing. I think in, in my journey, I, I, wanna, I wanna get that out of me. It, 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 it's, it's an important one and, I, and it's a story that I need to tell. And it's actually, um, cause I dealt with a tremendous amount of anti-Semitism in high school, oddly, um, like a lot of people are surprised by that. Um, but it was my black friends that actually had my back, came to my rescue at times and supported me through a lot of adversity. And um, it, it's a unique story. And um, it, 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 it very much dials into my relationship with my cousin who passed. So, you know, one day uh, I'll figure out how, how to actually get that made and get it into the world. But uh, 
you know, and I don't know if that'll ever be my do the right thing. I, I, I'm not so sure. You know, he tapped on something in 1989 that, I mean, fight the power. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I, I was walking around saying Elvis was a hero to most, but he never meant shit to me. He was racist, sucker, civil, playing motherfucking man, John Wayne. And I think people were like, who? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think like people were like, who the, like, you know, I, I, I guess I just had a different view on the world and didn't really know, you know, I don't know. You know, this was like- I'm from Philly, man, that's close enough to NY. So there you go, you know. <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.